Welcome to my lecture online. Here's another typical example of a wedge problem. What we're trying to do here is drive a wedge into a wooden log, trying to split the log. And the question is, if we're applying a force of 720 pounds down on the wedge, which has an angle of 12 degrees, what will be the force against the wood in a horizontal direction? We know that the coefficient of static friction between the wedge and the wood is 0.3 which allows us to find the angle phi, which is the angle between the reaction force and the normal to the wedge. We can then say that phi will be equal to the arc tangent of the static friction. And with a calculator, we can find out what that's equal to. So that's 16.7 degrees. Phi equals 16.7 degrees which now, when we do a summation of the forces involved, we have the 720 pound force pushing downward, we have the two reaction forces in this direction, and notice that if we add the 16.7 degrees to the six degrees, which is half of 12 degrees, which is the angle between the horizontal and the normal, we have an angle here together of 22.7 degrees, which allows us now to draw the sum of the three forces, we have the, let's put it over here, so we have the force driving down the wedge, we'll call that W, which is 720 pounds, it's synonymous to the weight of an object, but in this case it's the force driving the wedge. We have reaction force 1 coming this way, and reaction force 2 coming this way. And of course the three forces add together should add up to zero. So this is reaction force R2, this is reaction force R1. Then we also realize that if we divide this in half, we draw this into a, a sum of two right triangles, that here the horizontal line here represents the force pushing against the one on the side. So that's really what we're looking for. We're looking for this F right here. So what we need to do is we need to find this angle, which is the angle of the horizontal relative to the to the reaction force, which is this angle right here. We know this angle is equal to 22.7 degrees. Here's the full force of the, the full magnitude of the force that's applied to the wedge. So if we take half of that, we have a force of 360 pounds. And then we have this angle of 22.7 degrees, which allows us to find F, because now we have a relationship between the adjacent side, the opposite side, and the angle. We can now say that the tangent of 22.7 degrees is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. In this case, the opposite side is the half of the force applied to the wedge, 360 pounds, and the adjacent side would be F, which is what we're looking for. And that allows us to solve for the force. That way we can say that F is equal to 360 pounds divided by the tangent of 22.7 degrees. 360 divided by 22.7, take the tangent of that, and we have a force of 861 pounds. So F equals 861 pounds. So now you can see that by driving a wedge into a piece of wood like this, trying to split it, when we apply this force right here, based upon the coefficient of static friction and the, the angle of the wedge, we apply a force horizontally against the wood, splitting it apart of 861 pounds to the right, and of course an equal and opposite force to the left as well, 861 pounds to the left. And that's how it's done.